Hey, we are live. Hi, I'm Vicky. I'm Vinny, and this is Vicky Vinny live, but it's pre-recorded. Right. We because... doesn't matter. Watch the show. It's gonna be a very good show. Yeah, it's gonna and, be super um, fun. And we're pre-recording because we're going to Cassie's soccer games. Cassie's soccer game. And uh, and we're big on the youth athletics in yeah, the house. Yeah, big, big travel, big travel soccer game tonight with uh, 90 degrees weather. So uh, we Cassie. are we have Gatorade and. You know, spray bottles and it's ice. It's unbelievable the amount of, like, I, first of all, if I hear one more, when you tell me it's 91, you know what I want to call you? My Mommy. Who cares if it's 91? The athletic endeavors, like bad elements are part of it. One of the reasons American football is so much fun mm -hmm. is they play in all kinds of weather. Snow, rain, doesn't matter. You're snapping the football. Only lightning. I, I think when you have that kind of contract... You know, like mentally, you can prepare yourself for that. But when you're nine and you're just doing it for fun and it's 91 degrees out and parents are all yelling like, run, you know, run when, harder. When we were 91. I mean, when we you were, were young. 91. Okay. All right. When, Vinny's aging backwards. When we were young, we never stopped. The, the weather didn't stop us. We rode bikes. We, we had dirt ball bombs. When we were kids, we were so poor, we we could get... Balls of dirt and throw them at each other. We had dirt ball wars. Mm -hmm. And nobody got pissed off. No parents said, oh, there might be some weird biota. Biota. There might biota. Be, yeah, you, you, biota. Are, What's that? It's some microorganism. What I'm saying to you is, all right, it's okay that it's 91. Mm -hmm. Like last week, last week we had one of the, one of the moms, a friend of ours, up to the refs. Can we take a break at 15 minutes? The ref wanted to throw up into a bag. Well, we're doing that again tonight. Oh, my God. Oh, my They're God. There are nine. Why? Why? Why make because it not fun? Because you have fun? to build a society that gets shit done. You, you're, you and your mommy groups and my mommy will groups. never build Americans that will go to the moon. You'd be ah, oh, it's not launched today. It's cloudy. It might be lightning. You fucking launch and go. You, <laughs> I love you. You got to toughen up. I am tough. It's 90, it's literally 91 degrees out right now. Like, why? What, what, is, what is the purpose of not bringing Gatorade and ice and cool rags? I, I don't mind bringing Gatorade and ice. Moisture fans. Moisture fans. They're, they're just spray bottles. Yeah, moisture bottles. Come you on. You just spray your face no. to cool down. No, listen to me. You, you play You tough. know what? I'm making sure you don't get any Gatorade or any ice. No. Nothing for Vinny Brand said, on the sidelines. When I you're just, going, ah, I'm so thirsty. Ah, ah, ah. I'm going to say, nothing for you, Vinny Brand. Nothing just, for you. I just said Gatorade and ice are okay. Whatever. Whatever. Not, okay, let me ask this. Would you postpone this game if it didn't mean that we had a forfeit? No, I wouldn't have postponed it. All right, then that makes me happy. No, I wouldn't have postponed oh, it. Oh, there's talk. That was because we're short players. We're, no, we have enough players. Now we have enough players. But no, we yeah. had seven. We play seven on the field. They don't get a break. Go design a, a strategy that you can win and keep your seven on the field the whole time. Mm -hmm. That's all you got to do. Right. Piece of cake. What are you looking at? Your shirt. Oh, my God. Why? It's ugly. <laughs> it's really ugly. You see, you're just deflecting the conversation now. No, I'm not. No, this I'm not. Shirt Your a, shirt is ugly. It was a gift from our daughter. Yes, yes, but I think I'm almost I'm almost positive that she lost a receipt and that's why we couldn't take it back. She uh, okay. Which definitely sounds like that particular daughter. It does sound like my mm -hmm. beautiful Madison <laughs> who gave me the shirt. Madison, I love this shirt. It's very light on the skin. I like it. But it's awful. I've um Dice. I didn't realize that it's covered in dice. I didn't realize what that was the design. Now that I'm sitting this close to you looking at it, it's, it's full of dice. Like you look like you should be down in Atlantic City with a cigar and, and, and you know, at a craps table. Let it ride. With a pair of like loafers, <laughs> like button down here. No socks. No socks, a couple chains. Let it ride. Mm -hmm. That's what you look like. I thought it was a golf shirt. It is, I, it a, golf, it is a golf shirt because she, she bought it at Bella Vista Country Club. But I don't know what the dice are all about. I don't. I don't know. I don't even care. And I like the shirt. I wore it for the people to give them something to look at, something spicy to, ex to enjoy. Mm, and spicy. I, That's what you'll look at when you look at that shirt. That's spicy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hot. Hot, hot, hot. I'm going to wear this shirt out when we go out to dinner. 
knock yourself out. I don't give a shit. You, on the other hand, look adorable. Like well, I thank say. you. You do look adorable. Thank you. I, I, I had breakfast with the ladies this morning. I know. That's what you do. You, yeah. I breakfast I with the ladies. I can tell you right now. I don't have breakfast with the guys. I don't get the social outlet that you get. You have a nonstop social outlet. I have a nice group of, uh, I have a nice, a couple group of nice friends. Oh, yeah. By the way, groups, there's different groups. You're they not necessarily that. in all of them. You might be in one of them. Now, it depends you on which. You probably walk around, I'm friends with Vicky Brand. There's a whole other group no. side of that. <laughs> no, it depends because I have my mom friends from Cassie. And uh-huh. then I have my mom friends from Maddie and Tabby, which they are one huge commingled uh, group. It is a commingled group. It is because a lot of us had kids at Maddie's age. And then we had other kids right around Tabby's age. So we did a lot of stuff all together. And then I have my high school friends, and which are my childhood All friends. All of you are compartmentalized in Vicky's wheel of social. <laughs> it's <laughs> what normal people do, Vinny. Here's the Vicky. Like, you invite Vicky to something. She goes to her. She spins the big wheel. No! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you're, such a, you're full of shit. I am full of shit. So, have, and, everyone has groups. Everyone, everyone has, has groups. And, um. But you have a lot of groups. You're welcome. I don't have a lot of groups. Yes, you do. Really? The, pro- yeah, the thing is... You- Name my groups. Well, we were at one of your groups on Sunday. Oh, that's not my group. That's our group. He's but, our Yes, friend. but no, no, no. But he is why we are both they friends. They are our friends. Yes, but we are You're both... You're saying he. It's very sexist. No. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> it's the same thing as you are friends with all of my friends. However... Most the- of your friends are now my friends. Right, the friendships originated with me. So this friendship originated with you, and you and John Bramnick are very close friends now. Yes, we are. John's and a great so guy. on Sunday, and Patricia, right, and his wife Patricia is lovely, lovely, lovely. I always love talking to Super her. Super talented artist. Yes, very talented artist. So we had the pleasure of going to their home in the Poconos this sun this Sunday on a little lake in the Poconos. Right, and I don't think it's a little lake, given that. When they were talking about people up there, I think it's a one of those very wealthy lakes that. Oh, with the little lake to, that could. Right, that it's looks supposed to be. It's a little lake that could. That's supposed to be looking modest, but it's probably a, a hefty amount of money. I looked. We, we will not be joining the little lake that could. Yeah. We have to, we have to find a little lake that wants to. <laughs> right. So we, we went up there, and um, a friend had invited Cassie to go with them to the beach club. So it was just you and I. And they have a beautiful setup um, with canoes and kayaks and fishing. And it was really gorgeous. You know what it reminded me of? I don't know. Did you ever watch On Golden Pond? No. Nah. You never saw On Go- nope. Golden Pond? Looked like a sleeper. <gasps> oh, my God. That was an amazing movie. What they say. Oh, amazing movie. Won with the Academy Hen- Award. Henry Fonda, Jane Fonda, the father-daughter dynamic. You ever see Patton start to finish? No, you know I've that. I've seen it nine times. You know okay, that. Also, we talked about film. that on the way up there. I've never seen Patton. Chick flick, American flick. There's the difference. Patton is an American film mm-hmm. about an amazing general. On Golden Pond looked like a chick flick to me. Oh, it's, it's an amazing movie. I, you know what? I, so much so that I think feel like we need to rewatch it. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. Okay. I will trade you one evening of On Golden Pond. You have to watch Patton start to finish. I will. I oh, will. Patton is a great movie. How long is it? That that's a long movie, though, right? I'm pretty sure On Golden Pond is longer than Patton. No, it's not. Oh, uh, how do you know that? <laughs> I don't. Ridiculous! <laughs> that you say that. But you know what it is? I don't know what it is. Uh, maybe it's the Facebook or inter- the internet. <laughs> the Facebook. <laughs> the Facebook. Maybe it's the Facebook. I don't know what it is. My attention span. You know, I like TV shows better than movies. I hate TV shows. I know you hate them. I love TV shows. Here's why I hate TV shows because. Right, let's say you, you see something. Yeah. Right? Like, let's say, let's say, like, we started watching Ray Donovan. Yes. And nothing gets resolved. They just, it, 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 they have to. I understand the process. The cliffhanger. Now, I do like Chicago PD. Yeah, Chicago PD, I like too. Yeah, because that little, I like that for three reasons. That little episode gets resolved. Yes. And a bad guy gets uh, dead or beat up. Right. Mm-hmm. And, then they give you enough of a teaser of the backstory. I hate all the backstories. Yeah, the yeah. two cops are dating. Ba ba ba. Who gives a shit? I do. Ugh. I do. It's the worst part of the show. Kill no. more people. I want Hank Voigt to beat more people up. Yeah. 
So anyway, let's get back to our weekend. Wait, let's get back Day. to the weekend. Yes. On, we were at the pond. We were on, on Golden Pond. Speaking of which, we, were, we met the son of the author mm-hmm. of On the Waterfront. That's right. That's and, right. He wrote it. With, um, it was a movie starring Marlon Brando, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a movie I want to see. Right. So we, we met him. Uh, he's dating uh, John Bramnick's daughter. What a cute couple. Yeah, they're super cute. Super, super cute. Super cute together. And then Patricia's best friend, Lisa, was there. Right. Yeah. So uh, I was baiting Lisa. We were having a conversation. I was, I was, I was watching you. Well, I was doing it. I was, we were talking about women in politics. No, we were talking about women in comedy. Comedy. Women in comedy. And um, you didn't even know what you were talking about. I know what I'm talking about. I just, because I, it's funny to me. Whenever my opinion comes up on anything, you go on to this, you're more alert. Than if Cassie were playing with fireworks. <laughs> I, I have to say I am because I never know what's going to fly out of his mouth. I never know. At any given time, something can fly out of Vinny's mouth. So the moment anything comes up with an opinion, I'm always like, "What is he going to say? Yeah. What is he going to say? Are we going to offend anybody?" But she was. What do you think about this? Is you? You do. This, this, you do. You love. You love the thrill. Of getting in a debate with someone. You love it. You love it. Which I'm just the opposite. I'm like, ah, you know what? You're going to fight that out. That's that's on you, buddy. I, I have no I have no desire to do that. But when we're out in a public setting and and you start and I can see it. I, can I start. See it. I, I see start. the wheels turning. I see it. I see it happening. And then he's going, oh, this will be a good one. You just said it. He just said it, right? Oh, oh, I was baiting Lisa. I was baiting her. Okay, baiting Yes, her. you said it. You started it. You said it. I was baiting her. I was, I was really just... Oh, yeah. This is going to be a good one. I wanted to get your reaction because I honestly think that if someone said, Vic, Katz has got an M80 and matches, you'd be like, ah, but your father might voice an opinion. <laughs> because, listen... How, but, but let's be honest. When you know you're stepping over the line and I give you a signal... <laughs> What do you do? What do I, you do, Vinny? I jump. <laughs> no, no. Across when the line. I give you the signal that you have socially crossed the line and I like tap you or I give you a look, Vinny will literally say, Don't hit me. I can voice my opinion. We're just talking here. Don't hit me. It's always under the table. It's very out of view. Vicky's a bully. So I'm a you, bully. If, if I'm at the table talking, you'll see me go like that. That's because one of my testicles was pinched. <laughs> Let me say this. I, my favorite of all time. And you were there for that, uh, that one. And I don't think I was baiting that day. We were at a Labor Day party during George W.'s re-election campaign. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we met this couple. Mm-hmm. And we talked to them for an hour and a half. Right. And the girl was... Super nice. The guy was nice. Yeah. And they're like, oh my God, we love talking to you guys. Right. Because they were married with kids. Right, right. And at the time, <laughs> we were at my high school friend's party. And at the, Vinny and I had had kids prior, before everybody else. And so we were the only two couples with kids at this party. Trailblazers. Woo! Anyway, uh, so we're talking back and forth. And the, the girl says, oh, man, let's get together. We have to get together for dinner. And I said, mm-hmm. hey, Next couple weeks are good for us. And she goes, oh, not until after the election. I'm working hard to get this asshole out of office. Mm-hmm. And I laughed. I said, oh, that's so funny. I, I, I love my hope he gets reelected. Now, I didn't care if she said this asshole. Right. I didn't care. You decided your opinion. Yeah. Did she or did she not? She looked at me and she said, what? Mm-hmm. You're supporting George W. Bush? I go, yeah, I, I love him. I think he's the right president for this time. And she goes, oh, oh, no, no. Now, we're never having dinner with you. Am I right? No, yeah. And I said to her, oh, it's so good to see that you're of the open-minded liberal group. Mm-hmm. And, and you approve that comment. Yeah, th- listen. She was an ass. She was. She really By was. By the way, bitch, W1. <laughs> no, she really was. And I feel that, you know, she, she was Vicky, that's over the, the line. That's the epitome of the problem. Listen. If you can't have a conversation where two people have difference of difference of opinion, difference differences of opinion, what's the point in talking? What would every conversation sound like? If in that girl's world, here's how every conversation starts and ends. Well, I think 
gas should be even more expensive. Me too. Conversation over. Now, uh, yes. listen, I just want to point out, you and a lot of your comedian friends love, <laughs> love, love, love to get on the phone and just spar back and forth. They do. Vinny and Orny Adams, back and forth. No, Orny Adams, I get along. You... You guys go back and forth all the time about politics. Orny, I love you. You're wrong. Yeah. You're exactly. wrong. R-O-N-G. I just choose not to talk politics at all when we're out. I just feel it's best. You know, we used to have a family member. He is no longer in our family by divorce. But if you differed with him on uh, any opinion. He was, yeah. He, any and he opinion. was, just so everyone knows. He was on the right. A far right, but he would refuse work. He wouldn't work. Yeah. And you don't care. Like, you'll perform for either side. As long as they're paying you, you don't care. And I, well, I also respect people's opinions. Right, obviously. I don't care what anybody thinks. You know, if, if, if I have an opinion different than someone else's, I know that their opinion is just wrong. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. So anyway, we did have a lovely time. We had a great time. We had a lovely time. And then... Well, can I just say one last thing? Yeah. We were talking about women in comedy. Right. And she was just trying to have a thoughtful conversation with you. She was great. I, she was I, just I, trying I, to have a, a, an extremely conversation. thoughtful conversation. It was a very good conversation. And it was, it was a good back and forth. And she was open to new ideas. Mm -hmm. And I was open to some of her ideas. And I, I did. I opened up. And I almost immediately determined... She was wrong, and I moved back to my... <laughs> nah, she was great. Yeah, so the other thing I wanted to talk about, so a couple things happened um, over this past weekend, and one of the things was is that literally hundreds of flights got canceled again. Ugh. Hundreds of flights. How is this possible? Yeah, uh, you know, it happens. So, but I mean, here's how it really is happening. So there's, a, there's an extreme pilot shortage. So, and there's FFA rules. FFA? Uh, F -A -A. Is that like the soccer? Is that like FIFA? Are there, are there FIFA? <laughs> are there FIFA rules too, Mickey? So anyway, yeah, I'll tell you right now, the offside <laughs> thing is very confusing. <laughs> very confusing. So the now the FAA should be the one yeah. doing this particular job. So they have strict rules. <laughs> About, so because you don't want a tired pilot, you don't want a tired pilot. You don't want a tired co-host. <laughs> yes, FAA said. <laughs> you can't be tired. <laughs> the Fuck FFA. You. We're very serious. <laughs> so anyway, anyway, we're pulling back. So <clears throat> they canceled a lot of flights. And Again. and people are so surprised, you know. But it's the great I'm gonna try to say this. Vinny and I were debating because I apparently I said it, I say it wrong. The great resignation. You said resignation. I know. And I said there's a G in that word, resignation. I, I will. You know what? I'm so I'm from northern New Jersey originally. And I slip back to northern New Jersey speak a lot, leaving out leaving out letters and words. You slip yeah. into the hack of town vernacular. I do, I do. I slip right Ooh, back to the back. I think half these jackasses at the FFA should resign. No. So <laughs> anyway. People should resign. Because the FFA yeah. is doing a shitty job. Yeah. So anyway, I don't know where all the people are not working, but I know my mom's own experience trying to fly home. Her flight got canceled and yep. moved, and she ended up speaking with a lot of the workers from Delta who were saying, I haven't been home in four days. You know, I, I've been just, I guess they stay right at the airport, and they're very underworked. And I know it's frustrating. I know it's so frustrating when your flight gets canceled and your plans get canceled. Um, but so there's a big uproar right now because one gentleman was super frustrated, had called Delta, had waited a long time, spoke to a Delta employee, had, was waiting to hear back, hadn't, so then he tweeted at the employee. And then the employee tweeted back. However, but I just want to point out what the tweet said. That he originally it. said, because everyone was like, oh, you know, he was a little frustrated. The Delta employee should never have tweeted that back. But I'm telling you, I've been in those situations where you're trying to right a wrong that somebody else did. That somebody that you have no control over. And what did the tweet say? So the tweet said, which I think we're going to be able to show it in we a second. We have the tweet? Yeah. I don't so know the tweet. The tweet is waiting for Daisy at Delta to make things right. 
exclamation, well, question mark, exclamation, question mark, exclamation, question mark. What is happening? Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. First of all, that's rude to begin with. That, to do all the question marks. It is. Like, when someone emails me and was like, why'd you move to the show? With seven question marks. I didn't move the show. The artist moved the show. But like, I, I think in fairness to that. But I'm saying that this isn't Daisy's fault. Correct. And so people are going wild. Right. Because <clears throat> Daisy responded right back and said, she said, she said, can you calm down and allow me some time to work, please? <laughs> so I think Daisy had had it. And Daisy sounds a little snappy. Yes, but at the same time, Daisy's not flying the plane. We hope. We right. hope. Daisy's we not hope flying Daisy's the plane. Not. Daisy's not flying the plane. She's trying to do her best. And maybe she was snappy too. I don't know. I have no idea. But everyone's going wild about her response and not his, his tweet. His tweet, the reason they're not going wild in his tweet is simple. Because Daisy is in the minority. She's with the group that's canceling all the flights. Everybody else just wants customer service. Listen, we've had this at the club yeah. too, right? We've had it at the club. I, I just, I got a little short with someone Saturday night. A guy was just, and I don't know, I never get short. Yeah. But there's a, there's this thing now, the internet has made everyone think that their voice and their situation is unique and important. Right. And while it is unique and important in one sense, Delta is trying to run an airline, and I have to assume that when Delta cancels a flight, it's costing them money. Oh, yeah. Now, if Delta said, hey, Paul, you're the only guy in this flight, we ain't flying. My, Paul can get very mad and go, hey, that's not my fault. Yeah. Uh, now, there's a pilot shortage. By the way, if you're a young person, then how, now is the time. Now is the time. If I could go back in time and become an airline pilot. Yeah. How great would that be? Right, because the commercial airline pilots have to retire by 65. Yeah. So I'd say let them fly longer. So <laughs> I don't know about that. Well, especially because Where that, are we going again? <laughs> that leads me to my next story that well, happened over the weekend, which we'll touch on in a second. You're, you're cold, right? I'm a little chilly. Yeah, I can fun. see that. So what what uh, the rest of our story over the weekend? So the next story that happened over the weekend, which I just love, so it happened down in Tom's River uh, oh, at a shop, right? Um, Are we in weird news? Well, I, yeah, I guess this is weird news. This is weird news. Right, but it's, um, so I, I love it too because it popped up and it was like, it was breaking you know, like New Jersey news. And um, she, a, an older woman with a cane, got really, really pissed off at a younger man over a can of tomato sauce and beat the crap out of him with her cane. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you he, know what? I, I just think, and so the cops obviously were called and everything else. I don't know if she was arrested. How do you arrest a woman? The man taking soup. I can hear her now hitting Tom him with the cane. Tomato you sauce. Son of a bitch. You can still chew. Give me the soup. But. Uh, she what? Oh, right. She put him in a headlock. I forgot that part. She put him in a headlock, which I mean, I'm sorry. If you're with a cane and you have the the strength to put someone in a headlock good for you good for you good for you we're on that we're on her side yeah we are on her side this is one of those moments where vicky and i agree on something i th i don't even care what the guy did okay first of all good for the woman yeah secondly if you're the guy seriously you now need to move out of state because you are forever going to be everyone else's sissy i mean you got some little old lady with a cane beat you up over soup you need to get the tomato spinach sauce. aisle, huh? Tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. Soup, tomato yeah, sauce. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But uh, my point with all of that is you get to a point in your life and I feel like, you know what? Like, don't take the last can of tomato sauce away from that woman with the cane. Like, give it to her. Like, I, I imagine, like, in my head when I read that story, I imagined all different scenarios. Yes. Like, he must have been such a young jerk. And... You know, you get to a point in your life like, I'm sorry, like, be nice. And if you're not going to be nice, you get hit with a cane and get put in a headlock. Uh, you know, part of me hopes that you're right, that, that he was just an ass. That, you know, he was an ass and she's like, you know what, wrong, wrong grandmother. Yeah, and there's don't another mess with this grandma. Me, another part of me kind of wishes 
that she was just a rogue person walking down the aisle going, you know what? Yeah, you don't need that whack and just started beating the shit up. You said something earlier. I agree with it completely. When you get older, you should be given a pass on some things. Yeah, you should. Right? You should. And I've always said that. Like, I don't know. I'm trying everything I can to keep healthy. We're going to get the athletic greens in a minute. Yeah. And this in a minute. Yeah. And our mud, mud water, water in a minute. We have a lot of sponsors to talk about. But... Uh, I wish they were sponsors gone. Huh? I wish they were sponsors gone. Well, they're going to be sponsors. Yeah. Because when I say what I got to say, they're going to say, pay them for that. Yeah. I didn't care they pay me. Send me some athletic greens. So, so here's the thing. If I were to get some terminal illness, mm -hmm. I cannot promise you that. Like, if I knew I was checking out, I would go on a hurt no one crime spree. You know what I'm saying? Like, at that point, why wouldn't you... But that would, a, a hurt no one crime spree is an oxymoron because it would hurt someone. A bank. Yeah. You rob a bank. It's still, you're scaring the poor bank All workers. Right. All right. I, I, my crime spree would be very uh, non-injurious. Right. Like maybe go steal yourself a better shirt. <laughs> I, I, you know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think I would, I think the other thing is, I think that I would... I would probably, like, at lights when people don't move, I might just tap them with my car. Mm -hmm. Like, I think I, I wouldn't give a shit, and I would start to become belligerent. Well, it's funny you should say that, because one of the other things in the weird news was that an old lady got into a physical altercation with an older man, and because, like, one of their cars tapped. And the news organization that was reporting it had to make the specification that this is not a joke, and it's not the same... Lady from Shoprite. It's all in Times River. All in Times River. Like you know, you you put a bunch of old people in one town, you're gonna have some shenanigans. Yeah. And uh, but see, I think that's okay. Like to me, if I I'm, what would I do? Here's the things I would do if I were checking out. First of all, I would speak my mind even more than I do now. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> that would be a good time. It would be ugly. And I think there's certain things like people going slow in the fast lane. I might I might drive them into a ditch and clear up the lane for other people, I might, you know, that kind of crime. Mm -hmm. You know, not, not harmful. Right, right. right. I, I, I don't think I would do any crime whatsoever. If I, if I knew that I had a terminal illness, I would probably, I would probably just travel around. All right. And that's, mm -hmm. you know, you, you, you're traveling around. You're, you're, I agree with that. While you're out and about, chew and screw, uh, you know, <laughs> Dine and dash, you know what I'm saying? Dine and dash, sure. Uh, so, but anyway, I mean, let's get to some things here. First yeah. of all, I got Vicky on the Athletic Greens. Yes, so every morning um, we do drink our Athletic Greens. They are delicious. Not just delicious. How do you feel? I, I do feel good. I do feel good. I've, I've cut down my sugar immensely. Not all together. I mean, last night, yesterday, yesterday, one of the things that we had to do is Vinny took our middle daughter and her friends on the boat why I had a picnic with Cassie's friends and I positioned myself right next to the chocolate covered pretzels. Ooh, bad move. Bad move. Bad move. Uh, well, so, let me say this. Yeah. The athletic greens. Mm -hmm. I, I started taking this about a month and a half ago. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, it's good. I love it's it. good. And now, of course, I do my vitamins at night. Yeah, you do. And now we're, we tried something else. We did. We did. And, and I have to say, so Vinny is very preachy about the athletic <laughs> greens and the vitamins like, Super duper preachy, but when I'm not preachy, I'm trying to help you. You blah, don't call your doctor preachy. Blah, blah. Yeah, you You're not doctor. my doctor, but listen, but but I will have to admit when myself and the three girls all got bad bronchitis, this one didn't get it. Bulletproof. Did not get it. So, did not so, get it. It was so yeah, annoying. Yeah, greens are great. And yeah. they taste good. Yes, they do. And you're getting so many vitamins with yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, I love that. Mm -hmm. And I do my vitamins at night. Yes. And yeah, so now my big downfall, of course, is coffee. I drink more coffee. Yes. I get letters from Brazil. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I do. I, they, I, they love me. Yeah. And so I heard about this mud water. Yes. Which is a coffee alternative, which is done with lion's mane and a bunch of mushrooms. It's very, and very. It's mushrooms, turmeric, cinnamon. So in the morning, I think there's black tea. At night, there's no black tea. Yeah, whatever it is. Yeah, some voodoo shit. It is some voodoo shit. Yeah. And say, say you're supposed to give up caffeine. I, of course, just cut back my caffeine. Yeah. And then substitute it with the mud water. Yeah. Uh, what I would normally do with caffeine after my second cup. 
I'm telling you, my brain is electric. I, I like mean, it. I do like it. I will say, yesterday I was dragging. I was so tired. Yeah. I was so tired and um, I was so grumpy because Vinny was off, so he made me stay up and watch a movie. And <laughs> We did not watch a movie. We watched many episodes of Ray Donovan. Yeah. And, but I was super grumpy because we stayed up to like, I don't know, like 1230. And then I ended up talking to Tabby while she drove home. Yeah. So I went to bed at like 1.30 in the morning. And so yesterday I was dragging. But you drink the mud water. And you do. You, you perk right up. And then it lasts forever. Yeah. And I, now, do you notice any difference in how you're thinking? Because I feel like I'm thinking sharper. Like it's, it's, and I'm pretty, I think I'm pretty sharp anyway. Yeah, you are pretty sharp. All right. And then the nighttime drink is supposed to give you a peaceful sleep. Yeah, it's waking me up. Well, I haven't, I haven't experienced that. But the mud water and the athletic greens uh, are the two big yeah. changes. And of course, I've given up dairy and everything. I mean, I look great. But the point I'm trying to make, <laughs> we said that last week. So now we got to talk about this. Yes, yes. So we have a friend, his customer, Josh Brand, as it works out. So funny. I, I, Not related. I, well, I wonder if we did an ancestry tree. He might be on your... In your in no, your... I don't think Josh and I are related. But we, we, we look. But I had said to Josh that you have bad... Plantar fasciitis. That you can say. Yeah, I can say, no problem. Plantar fasciitis? Yeah, plantar fasciitis. You have bad plantar fasciitis. Yeah. And I had been talking to Josh, and yeah. he said, you got to get one of my machines. Right. And Josh uh, is a physical therapy nut. He's, he's an exercise machine nut. He's a real sharp guy. So is he an actual physical therapist? I don't know if he's an actual physical therapist. I got I to gotta ask him. Right. But he's so into it. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not a vitamologist. No, you're not a vitamologist. Okay, but I have been certified by the FFA. And <laughs> I, can, <laughs> I can land the plane. So <clears throat> I, I'm not a vitamin guy. Right. But I did the research online. So I don't know if Josh is actually a, a, a physical therapist or not. Right, but, but he's I, knowledgeable in the area. Mm -hmm. He's very knowledgeable in the area. Super knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. uh, it had a lot to do with exercise machine and whatnot. And I said to him, hey, because Vinny, you got to get one of my devices because I went out and I designed. No way. Yeah. No way. You know what a Theragun is? Yes, I know what so a Theragun is. So we have a Theragun for the kids. Yes. And the Theragun is expensive as hell. Yeah. And it's good, but it, it's going to pound the hell out of you. Yeah. Not a lot of settings on a Theragun. Mm -hmm. There's, there's uh, one setting mm -hmm. uh, that I'm aware of. And there's not that many attachments. Mm -hmm. So while I'm not putting a Theragun down, Josh went out and said, I can build a better machine. Mm -hmm. And he built a better machine. And this is the machine. It's called Nimble. Oh, wow. Nimble. So I was complaining about your plantar fasciitis. Mm -hmm. And he goes, I, Mostly because you have to rub my feet at night. I have to rub her feet at night. And mm -hmm. I do because I'm a good husband. Mm -hmm. And he said, if you get this device, it's going to help you tremendously. Wow. So then he, I get a text message. Send me your address. No way. And then yesterday, we get this in the mail. Wow. And this thing is, I already tried it. You haven't tried it yet. No, I haven't. This thing, first of all, what I really like, you can travel with this. Right, You travel right. with a Theragun. Yeah, it's big. You can stop at the airport. Yeah. Um, this thing is, look at the size. Wow. Of it, okay. And it comes with all these devices. This, this goes in here. One thing, you push the button. Wow, that's yeah. so nice. And then, and then there's different settings. So there's right. one, two, holy shit, please stop. Okay. And then, of course, off. Right. Now, I tried it before. Uh -huh. This thing is great. Here's another setting. Another, right. Okay. Oh, and then a direction book. Wow, so it's called the Nimble. So I got to, Josh, yeah. I got to thank you. And yeah. I got to tell anybody, I'm going to report back next week on how great this device is. Yeah, that's awesome. I can tell you right that's now. That's so, so thoughtful to send that. So, so thoughtful. thoughtful. So thoughtful. And, uh, and you know, I, I, again, I will report back next week and let you know how, how well it works. But I suspect we'll be calling you saying, or we'll be reporting back that this thing is incredible. And let's see if your plantar fasciitis improves. Yeah, I would hope, with I the hope nimble. so. I, think, yeah. I hope it will. So what else did you want to talk about? Tonight? So, well, actually, it is time uh, for us to go to Cassie's soccer game. It's time. It's time. Good broadcast. Yeah. Good so, broadcast. Fun. You're getting better and better. Uh, we have... Ah! We're done. <laughs> Listen, thank you for joining. What? You're getting better and better, you say to me. You're getting better and better. You're getting improving, well, Vicky. You I, were sucky at first, but now you're improving. What I need to say... <laughs> I'm, I've been doing 
some form of entertaining. And you've been you know, with your different groups. Ha! <laughs> out to uh, breakfast. So listen, we love that you come hang out with us. Yeah. Please go to the Instagram page, Vinny underscore brand. Go to the YouTube channel, which is mm. just what? Uh, Stress Factory? Stress Factory. Go to the Twitter account, Vinny underscore brand. Yeah. Vicky does not do the social. I don't. Mm-hmm. You got to change that. Mm-hmm. You'll have more fans than me instantly. No, mm-hmm. can we make her uh, uh, Instagram? I will do it. I'll get around to it. No, you're not going to get around yeah, to it. You're the worst. All, All right. right. Thank we love you, everyone. you. We'll see you next week. Bye, everyone.